Hey everybody, this is Melanie, and um, and I just got done with my diamond call with Alex Button from Corporate, and she just, her message couldn't have come at a better time when I was already kind of mauling through some things in my mind, um, and it was, it was like perfect timing. You know, this morning I woke up kind of just with a lot of things on my mind about, about, you know, business and success and what success looks like and how it's so important to run your own race in, in your beach body business and how easy it is to start to get distracted by the shiny objects of what other people are doing and what other people define as success. And as I was getting ready this morning, I just thought to myself, like, I, I am enough. I am doing the absolute best that I can do for the amount of time that I have for, um, for, the, for the style that I want to run my business and I am happy with that. And so whenever we were talking this morning about what is your personal best and being proud of that, I really got to thinking like, I couldn't run my business another way. Like when I look at how other leaders and other people out there grow organizations, I think to myself, that's not my style. I wouldn't do it that way. Not that it's a wrong way, but it's not what lines up with my values and my priorities. And I think that's what makes each coach in this organization different is that we have a different set of priorities and values that we align our business with. And we are attracted to other people with the same values and priorities. And so when I say, what is my personal best that I would, I would be proud of at the end of the day, I have a few key things that stick out to me. It's integrity. It's leading with, with great discipline. Um, it is being somebody that cares about the team that they're developing. It is not necessarily about the number. And as I sit here, and yeah, I might be the top coach in Beachbody, but I didn't get there because I played a numbers game. I got there because I looked at my organization and I said, I want to help each coach reach their highest level of success. I wanna help each coach to achieve their personal best. And because I ran my business that specific way, it got me to the point where I'm at today. If the strategy that I've used for the past four years did not get me to the top, I would still do the strategy that I've done for the past four years because it's what feels good to me. It's what makes me feel like I'm in line with my priorities and my values that I bring to the table as a coach and as a leader and, and as the creator of the dream team. So when I look back at the past four years, I'm proud of what I've created. Has it been perfect? Have I accomplished every goal that I've set along the way? Absolutely not. But at some point or another, I have looked at it and said, this is what feels good for me. And the one thing that overrides everything else is that discipline outweighs motivation. You can have people that are sprinting in their business right now, right? And they're just burning the candle at both ends and they're highly motivated by a rank or they're highly motivated by the income. But when you achieve that rank or that income or that status, do you feel like it is still your personal best? Are you proud of what you accomplished because it makes you feel good about who you are? So when you set goals and priorities for yourself, I want you to think about those things. All right, and whatever you choose to do, right? So as you're setting goals for the second half of the year and you're trying to decide where you want to go with your business, a few things for you to think about. You know, are you going full force? Are you committed? To your goals are you saying to yourself without a shadow of a doubt i'm not tiptoeing around i'm not just kind of saying well if all the stars align then i'll go for it are you saying to yourself there's no turning back i am committed to the desired outcome and if you're sitting here saying that right now then it is all in full force you are disciplined and that's going to outweigh any motivation that you have that means that no matter what, you're going to wake up, you're going to do the activities that help you build the business that you're proud of that are going to help you reach that desired outcome, whether it's three months from now, six months from now, or a year from now. And when you begin to think about your business that way, you're going to begin to have success too. So I hope this message finds you helpful, finds you inspired, um, finds you focused on the right business activities versus what everybody else out there is doing. 
because at the end of the day, I wouldn't change the way I grew my organization. I can always be better. I can always improve. I missed things. I made mistakes. I've said things the wrong way, but I always do my best to let people know that I'm honest, that I have their best interest at heart, and that I would never lead them astray. And I want my coaches and my team to know that every business decision I make is, is for the team as a whole so that we're all better because of it, not just one versus the other. All right. I hope this helps you focus. Let's set those goals. Let's make them happen. Let's finish the year strong. And I want each of you to just be your personal best. And I want you to know that that is enough.